Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about what are the different types of substrate materials that are used in the microstrip transmission lines. So before going into the detailed explanation of these microstrip transmission lines, let us see where the substrate actually exists in the microstrip transmission line. Suppose if you have taken any microstrip transmission line structure, it is like your rectangular waveguide. The shape is like your rectangular waveguide and and this is the place where you are having a conducting layer with thickness T with the thickness T and this is the substrate. Now, so whenever we are going to construct this type of microstrip transmission line, we should definitely have a substrate material. This is the substrate material. This is the substrate material. So we should consider the substrate properly in order to uh, compete with the different types of substrate materials with the different parameters like uh, dielectric constant dissipation factor and coefficients of thermal expansion and thermal conductivity. All these are different parameters that have influence on the substrate of the microstrip transmission line. Uh, this, these parameters actually affect the performance of this microstrip transmission line. Okay, towards a temperature or wave that is being transmitted from input to the output, all these parameters are having a relation with the type of substrate we are being selected. Okay, so let us see uh, the selection of the substrate is going to be done based on the different types of qualities of the dielectric substrate. So, important qualities of the dielectric substrate include the first one is the surface must be finished and flatness the frequency dependence the frequency dependence of this dielectric constant dielectric constant which gives rise to material dispersion to material dispersion material dispersion. What do you mean by material dispersion? Suppose if 10 different waveforms that are being traveled inside the waveguide, inside this microstrip transmission line, 10 waves with 10 different frequencies will be having different velocities when they are passing through the waveguide. Of course, even though all these waves entered this microstrip transmission line at one time, but they will be experiencing different velocities because of their difference in the frequencies. So that process is known as material dispersion. So material dispersion in which in which the wave velocity the wave velocity is frequency dependent. 
the wave velocity is frequency dependent this is the meaning of material dispersion okay see here, the wave velocity the wave which is travel inside the wave inside this microstrip transmission line its velocity is changing depending upon the frequency so frequency dependent the dielectric loss tangent the dielectric dielectric loss tangent or imaginary part of the dielectric constant dielectric constant which sets which sets the dielectric loss dielectric loss and the cost cost is also having important quality thermal expansion and conductivity the thermal expansion and conductivity so thermal expansion and conductivity how long it works with respect to temperature thermal expansion how long that material or substrate works with respect to temperature and what could be the conductivity during that rise in temperature whether it works whether its operation is limited to room temperature or even at the higher uh, temperatures uh, it works or not the dimensional stability with time the dimensional stability with time the dimensional stability with time the surface addition the surface addition properties for the conductor coatings and the manufacturability the manufacturability so manufacturability is nothing but ease of cutting shaping and drilling okay so ease of the manufacturability of this substrate material with within the microstrip transmission line must have ease of cutting shaping and drilling all these are the different processing steps inside the manufacturing okay and the high vacuum applications we don't want to we don't want a substrate which continually outcases which when pumped the porosity the entire statement is known as porosity porosity is nothing but for high vacuum for high vacuum applications high vacuum applications we do not want a substrate which continually out gases when pumped so generally we do not consider a substrate which outgasses when it is pumped during high vacuum applications so, so that type of property of this uh, substrate should be uh, called as porosity the porosity p o r o s i t y okay so all these are different types of uh, important features that a substrate should uh, 
acquire before going into the construction of this micro strip transmission lines so various types of uh, substrate includes plastics sintered ceramics glasses and single crystal substrates single crystal substrates means if that may have an uh, anisotropic dielectric constants anisotropic means they are different anisotropic means they are different along with the different crystal directions with respect to the crystalline axis okay so here there are different uh, parameters are uh, given which are associated with respect to different types of substrate materials this is what the substrate material which can be used inside the manufacturing of inside the uh, micro strip transmission line suppose if you are taking 90 alumina with 90 alumina with 99.5 percent that symbol is alumina is that symbol is represented by alumina al2 o3 it's a dielectric constant dielectric constant is nothing but epsilon effective effective dielectric constant is 9.8 and its dissipation factor tan delta is 0 0.001 and coefficient of thermal expansion that is the ppm per degree centigrade it is 8.2 and similarly thermal conductivity is watts per minute uh, watts per meter degree celsius that is 35 so all these are different parameters associated with the different uh, materials that are used that can be used in the fabrication of any substrate material of the micro strip transmission lines so alum, alumina with 99.5 percent these are the different uh, parameters associated with and uh, aluminium nitride and alumina 96 percent beryllium oxide gallium arsenide such type of different different parameters are there different uh, materials are there that are having different uh, uh, parameters with respect to uh, these uh, dielectric constant dissipation factor coefficients of thermal expansion and thermal conductivity okay among all these which is having the best characteristics in the substrate that we will consider when we are going for the fabrication <laughs> That depends upon time to time. Suppose if you want a better dielectric constant, then we go for this last one, 12.88. If you want a better thermal conductivity, then we should go for like uh, aluminum nitride or aluminum barium oxide. So depending upon the type of the material which we are concentrating, type of the parameter which we are concentrating on, that uh, material we should consider in the fabrication of micro strip transmission line. Okay, so this is what the uh, substrate related issues with respect to macro strip transmission line. Thank you.